Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be looking at temperature. And temperature is a way that we are able to measure how warm or how cold something is. Well, let's take a closer look. If you have a paper thermometer like this one, I would like for you to take a look at it and I would like for you to point to the line for zero. Did you find it? Now I'd like for you to point to the line for 30. Did you find it? And now I'd like for you to point to the line for 70. There it is. We have 0, 30, and 70. Class, when we have been practicing reading a thermometer, we have been practicing to the nearest 10 degrees. And do you see that this thermometer lists the degrees by 10? We have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we've been trying to figure out which one the temperature is closest to. But we are going to be looking a little bit more closely now. Many thermometers have a scale of 2. I'd like for you to notice that between 0 and 10, there are some little marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five little jumps, and they're each worth 2 degrees. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Between 0 and 10, there are 5 jumps worth 2 degrees each. When we start at 0 degrees and we count each line by 2, it looks like this. 2 degrees, 4 degrees, 6 degrees, 8 degrees, 10 degrees. 12 degrees, 14 degrees, 16 degrees, 18 degrees, 20 degrees. And it keeps going, counting by two each time. I'd like for us to find 58 degrees on our thermometer. And I'm going to fill it in because often thermometers the red mark indicates the temperature. So I'm going to fill in the red all the way up to 50, but we need to go to 58. So we're going to count by 2. 52, 54, 56, 58. 58 degrees is between 50 and 60. It is almost up to 60. We just have two more degrees. Now I'm going to find 36 degrees. I'll fill in all the way up to 30. And now I have to find the 6, 36. Let's see, 32, 34, 36. 36 is just one, two, three jumps above 30 because each jump is two degrees. Let's try another one. What about 82 degrees? Well, it's pretty easy to find 80 on our thermometer and I'll fill in all the way up to 80. Hmm, if I wanted to go to 82, how many jumps or how many lines would I go above 80? It's just one line above 80 because each line we count by two. 82. Let's try another one. This time we're going to find 44 degrees. Well, it's pretty easy to find 40. So I'm going to fill it all in. Now I need to find 44, so I'm up to 40, 42, 44. This is 44 degrees. Now we're going to find one that's a little bit colder, 12 degrees. Well, I'm going to go to 10. That's pretty easy to find. 
And if we're going to go to 12, it is just one more line above 10 because each line is worth two degrees. How about warmer temperature? Let's go all the way to 90 degrees. Well, that's easy. It's a multiple of 10, so I don't even have to count any extra. There we are, all the way to 90 degrees. Well, what about 28? Here's 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Yes, 28 is so close to 30. There's just one more line. I would love for you to practice on a thermometer today. I put mine in a plastic page protector so that I can do it over and over and over again and just erase it. You might have a page that looks like this as well. And if you have a page that looks like this, you can practice by figuring out all of the temperatures. This first one goes all the way up here to one line above 70, so that would be 72 degrees. I would like for you to find the temperature on the next two thermometers as well. This thermometer wants us to find 28 degrees on the thermometer. Well, here's 20, but we're not finding 20, we wanna find 28. We count by two, 22, 24, 26, and 28. It's almost up to 30. Well, I would love for you to practice these today. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me today. Today, we looked at reading a thermometer to the closest or nearest two degrees. I hope that you take some time to practice today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.